Hello, W2VP. All right. Turn this down just a bit. Roger, Roger. Okay, I think the name is Kent. Kent is there. Um, let's look you up on uh, QRZ.com. So, um, what are you running there, Kent? What's the power in the antenna, Rover? Sorry about the long uh, video. Uh, I wanted to show you that this um, Yaesu FTDX 9000 is receiving nicely. And um, it's, uh, <laughs> what a radio. It's, uh, it's uh, too much for me. I bought this with some other gear, thinking I might keep it. But uh, I just, it's just so large and heavy. It weighs 70 pounds, approximately. It's a monster. And I don't really have anything to sit next to it to show you how big it is. But, uh, well, there's a speaker there. But, I mean, it's, it's just huge. Um, I don't have the dimensions. They're online. But I just want to show you what these things look like. I think it's such a pretty transceiver. Uh, it looks absolutely glorious sitting on the desk. And this is just my kind of my work uh, station here where I test radios. But I wanted to show you what they look like. I'm not going to go over the features of the radio. Uh, there are tons of videos on the ASU FT-DX9000. This is the D model. And uh, it had some uh, improvements done over the years. Uh, I don't know if it was an originally a contest model or not. Uh... Uh, but I believe this uh, row of knobs down here was was added. Uh, I think that was a, an ad you could do uh, to improve it, which was a, over a thousand dollars at the time. I have some paperwork on this transceiver. These were very very expensive, and uh, this is what they look like. Just a beauty. The Yesu model FT DX nine thousand. <laughs> 